After the First World War in Weimar, Germany, a new school of fine arts was founded, the Bauhaus. Under the slogan, Art and Technique, New United People, they found out how we should live. Firstly, music was no subject at the Bauhaus school and mostly took place beside the workshops. Many of the Bauhaus teachers already had some experience with music. Kandinsky wrote in 1912 a piece of music known as the Yellow Sound. He used pictures of Franz Marc as the template for his orchestra piece. For the longest time, Bach was an idol for the German Bauhaus teachers. Most of the paintings dealt with the musical fugue of Bach. The focusing of measure and number seemed to be the ideal link between math and expression. Paul Klee created Fuge in Red in 1921. He constructed his paintings like a coordinate system in which he enters rhythm, polyphony, variation, pitch, and tone duration. In 1923, Laszlo Moholy Negi took over the metal cloth and initiated the constructivist turn of the Bauhaus school. He dealt with the complete control of sound. His higher goal was to create and control sound only by using synthetic devices. For this, he used magnetic tape fragments stitched together. He transformed sound playing devices to sound producing devices. His attempts remain with the experimental character, but subsequently he laid the foundations of electronic music. The approach of Bauhaus always was interdisciplinary. Therefore, it is not surprising that musical works mostly appeared in connection with other art disciplines, such as theatre, installation and performance art. Oskar Schlemmer's Tridik Ballet premiered in 1923 in Weimar. The musical accompaniment was provided by a mechanical piano which was controlled with perforated straps. With the rise of the National Socialists in the 1930s, the school was closed and many Bauhaus members immigrated abroad. In the 1940s, Laszlo Maholi Negi founded the new Bauhaus in Chicago. Unlike at the state Bauhaus in Germany, experimental music was also on the curriculum. Maholi Negi hired John Cage for this. In addition, the Black Mountain College in North Carolina was founded by Annie and Joseph Albers, both were teachers at the Bauhaus in Weimar and Dessau. Joseph Albers also created works on musical themes. For example, The Fugue from 1925, which is reminiscent of Klee's Fugue in Red. Performance art was particularly encouraged. Several concerts were held weekly at the BMC. In Europe, on the other hand, attempts were still made to desubjectify music. This means that one tried to use the technical possibilities to free ideas of the composers from the skills of the musicians. In 1948, Pierre Scheffler created Musique Concrete, which was more like a sound collage than an orchestral piece. A technical breakthrough came from Karl Heinz Stockhausen in 1953 with the first purely synthetic piece of music in history. In study one, he alienated measurement electronics from broadcast technology in order to generate sine waves. The foundation stone for electronic sound generation was laid. Music at the Bauhaus was an experiment and the starting point for many multimedia art movements. Maholi Negi created the basis of media art with his film Lament Collage in 1923 and inspired the beginnings of electronic music. Even if music at the Bauhaus did not come out through the experimental phase, it still has a significant influence on today's media art and pop culture. <laughs>